Good morning. Back at the Goodwill Hinkley Farm, now the KVCC campus, or Alphon campus. I uh, just got done digging with uh, Waterville Gary again. He killed it again. I'll show you, you'll see. He found a, I'll just tell you, he found a button. Um, it was more of an exploratory metal detecting event. I wouldn't call it adventure. We're exploring a house site, a known house site that there's multiple house sites at on this campus that are just like I'm going to explore. This is awesome. So what's important about this house site and what I didn't I found stuff but I didn't find a lot is that it's connected to somebody that's what I wanted that was my purpose is to connect it through research to someone who actually lived there which I did so all these vit all these photos that I have the older photos and some and one of the newer ones they are from uh, the L.C. Bates Museum, which is the Goodwill Hinkley Museum. So I contacted them, asked a whole bunch of questions, and they they gave me an answer. Thank you so much. I also contacted the Fairfield Historical Society, and they were able to help me out. They gave me a whole bunch of information. It's also, thank you to both of them. And I uh, probably, because they like this is amazing information gary and i went out and it was thick i'll tell you that much it was like it like it was a great spot to go detecting in the fall when everything is dead because it was it's pasture and it's woods and it's there's it's just thick and i wore shorts which was stupid so the history behind this site this is a house, a house site documented house site I'll throw, I'll throw the video in there but I did a lot of research on this site. This is the Tuttle household. Uh, Elmer Tuttle was a Civil War vet and his son, James Tuttle, is the reason for most of the construction or had his hands in most of the construction of the Goodwill Hinckley properties to include the World War I Memorial. Which is awesome. It's gorgeous. Still standing, which is something else. But there's a couple of these sites on the property. There's a lot of these sites on the property, so I'm gonna get to digging. So metal detecting is about finding relics, mostly. For me, it's about finding history. And this is, this is what I love. This right here is a foundation. It just looks like dirt, but you can see it come around into the actual foundation. And that is awesome. And this is, this is the outline you see from the satellite imagery, image from Google Earth. There we go. And look around. And this is, this is history. This is awesome. I'm gonna stop geeking out and get back to metal detecting. First find, my first find of the day is a square nail. This, uh, the ground here is really hard. It is, I'm almost ready to go for, to uh, the pickaxe. So this bad boy rang up as a 90 and I got excited. High signal. Turns out it's not a coin. It's not a rock. So now let me get my pinpointer out. So, uh, oh, now it doesn't want to work. Oh, it's the pinpointer. See? So, that's interesting. It's heavy. Like, it's really heavy. So, this, where I'm at, approximately, is the house site was over there. The house was over there, and the, you can see the foundation. So, this is about where the barn would have been, maybe. Uh, just guesstimation. I'm curious now. It's gonna bug me. It, it doesn't bend, so there's there's a divot there, and then there's a spot right there. 
No idea. I'll have to clean it off. So this rang up as a 40. Obviously, it's a piece of metal. So low, low, low. So I dug it. And uh, no idea what it is. So I'm gonna, eventually I'll clean it off. And that could be just a, a piece of... I don't know. Who knows? Gary just found this button. That's awesome. You can see the lady. Got some gold on it. That is that is cool. So kind of, this is obviously a nail, and it kind of molded into a rock. Crazy. So another square nail. Found evidence. This is like a square nail. Found evidence of, uh, or someone was burning something or an old fire. Probably burning old wood, barn wood. But, yeah, there's lots of nails down there. I just heard something, or a noise come from there. Something scratching, scooting around. I have no idea. Off out of my GoPro. I didn't bring my, my GoPro today because I'm a genius. So. That is a solid piece of metal. I gave off multiple different signals. So, I don't know what it is. But... That almost broke my shovel. I had to dig it out by hand. Took some effort. So it is all over. Whatever's under here is it's all over and it's ringing up. I have no idea what it is. All I know is that I went looking and there's a hard substance that covers it like concrete don't know if it's concrete i'm sick of digging so there is i'll see show you so that is not obviously not natural that is a square of concrete i don't know how old this spot is i don't know how where what it's from it's probably just where they scraped the land away are they they're like okay we've got another house structure let's just get rid of it so I'm finding, I'm in the woods. I moved away from the actual house site because there's so much stuff there and kind of just exploring. They, uh, there's a lot of this stuff laying around here. So there's definitely more house structures here than expected or seen. So it was kind of cool. So it looks like a giant shovel, maybe, who knows? I don't know, kind of how the day is going. This is the maple shack or sugar shack for KVCC. It's been here, I think, since the, before the 50s. So kind of digging around here, not really finding much. A lot of iron, we're finding a lot of iron. So my finds for the day, piece of lead. This is definitely lead, it is a lot of lead that is heavy. A uh, strange piece of metal, which I'll have to clean up, see if it's something at all. And then uh, a shovel, which is cool. It's an old shovel. I don't know, somebody might like that. So I will go over Waterville Gary's finds because we left and I just didn't do it. I didn't get an actual video of it. This is the button Waterville Gary found. This is like Waterville Gary's first find. Like, bam, right off the bat like in the wood in the weeds i hear him say look at this button and i walk over there and it's it's gold like an awesome button i don't know what year it is it's it's an awesome button awesome find he also found a it looks like a maybe a uh some, some type of handle or a part of a shovel or rake very old still cool he found also a uh looks like a, a hinge a gate hinge maybe thick and heavy it was it was pretty heavy and then he found this butter knife which i he said is it might be plated i think it's plated too very good example of a butter knife and i would have been excited to find it it's uh but yeah it's very interesting sight very interesting hope you enjoyed my video I, uh, I enjoyed making it, just finding the history, doing the research. Thank you to also to the Maine Historical Society, also to the Maine Memory Network, and the L.C. Bates Museum. Great information, and they, they, you know, they 
answered most of my questions or whatever they could. They didn't have to. They they took time out of their they took time out of their do, their job and their day to find the information for me and respond back to me. So huge thank you to them. This place is is something else. This place is this property is something else. I love it. Love it. There's so much to find. There's so much to, to explore. Mainly dig out.